Allah subhanahu wa mentioned in the Quran, لَقَدْ جَاءَكُمْ Verily there has come to you, meaning by Allah, verily for sure there has come to you. A messenger from amongst yourselves, meaning a messenger who is a human, who is like you, a human being. But that which he was distinguished above us, that he was given the risala, the message or the revelation from the heaven. And then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala described him, Azizun alayhi ma'anibtum, that difficult upon him, that which you must bear. Meaning, that which harms or hurts you, it harms and hurts the Prophet wasallam. And for this reason, he was diligent and took every care in guiding us away from everything which hurts or harms us. And the greatest and most severe of this is a shirk. And also that he tried his <coughs> utmost to guide us towards where there is our benefit and there is our goodness. And this is from the saying of Allah, Halisun alaykum, meaning also focused on your betterment and your salvation. If we consider the responsibilities which the Prophet ﷺ was tasked with, and what were those responsibilities that the Prophet ﷺ was given? Firstly, he was a prophet and a messenger, a Nabi and a Rasul. And that he would receive revelation from Jibreel. He would memorize the Quran. And he was also the leader of the state. And he was the interior minister and the minister of defense. And he was the Imam of the Masjid. And he was the teacher. And he was also the one who gave. And at the same time, he used to take care after his family. Meaning the Prophet wasallam, he played various roles and fulfilled various responsibilities. And despite all of these responsibilities and roles, he fulfilled every single one in the best and most perfect manner. And perhaps you only, you, if you were to be given only one role, or wow. one responsibility that the Prophet ﷺ was given, you would not be able to fulfill. But Allah placed barakah for our Prophet ﷺ in his time and his actions and his efforts. And Allah Subhana, He chose the Prophet ﷺ to be the best and most virtuous amongst the Prophets. And Allah Subhana chose for him this religion, this perfect religion, and the religion through him which is perfect. And it's the final religion. And also Allah Subhana decreed for the Prophet وسلم, the best and most virtuous of companions and wives. And also to be born in the best of cities, i.e. the city of Makkah. And he was the he, and he was the most noble of people in lineage, meaning the most noble lineage of amongst the people was the lineage of the Prophet وسلم, and he was the best of them in his character and his manners. And so this is a great honor for the Prophet وسلم, but it is also a great honor for his ummah. And the Prophet وسلم, being honored and elevated is also the ummah being honored and elevated. So then after all of this, how can it be that you don't follow the sunnah of the Prophet you don't follow his guidance, you don't live your life according to the life of the Prophet Rather, you should be pleased and delighted that Allah chose you to be the followers of this noble Prophet And the Prophet he was the most sincere in advice from amongst the creation towards creation, meaning there's no other created being who is more sincere than the Prophet وسلم, towards creation. And he وسلم, he was the most worshipping of the people towards Allah subhanahu wa meaning there's nobody who can come after him who is equal to the worship of the Prophet وسلم, never mind being more worshipping of Allah than the Prophet وسلم. Anybody who comes after him Without doubt, they are less worshipping and less pious than the Prophet And neither is it possible or permitted for a person to oppose or turn away from the Sunnah of the Prophet And it's not permitted for a Muslim to increase above the Sunnah of the Prophet And neither to be deficient in anything from the Sunnah of the Prophet